Hello everyone, my name is Elena Zotobalina. I'm a postdoc at Kazan Federal University. This is a joint work with two PhD students about biomedical named entity recognition results in experiments in interlingual transfer for clinical and social media texts. Drugs and diseases play a central role in biomedical research and healthcare. And we would like to do biomedical named entity recognition on several domains with limited training data. The domains are social media texts and clinical notes in English and Russian. We investigate the role of transfer learning strategies for bird-based models between four datasets in order to reduce the number of training examples. We adopt four datasets defined by two parameters. First parameter is language. We use data written in English and Russian, and the domains are clinical data and user reviews about drugs. We do named entity recognitions on diseases and drugs mentions. We ask, can additional pre-training on the existing dataset be helpful for performance of bird-based named entity recognition model on a new dataset, if the domain, the language or both shift between those datasets? We use multilingual bird. We randomly split each dataset into training and testing sets. All models are compared in terms of precision, recall, and F1 score with exact match criteria using Connell script. Here is our results with zero short settings. Left table presents results of in corpus performance of multilingual bird on drugs entities where model was trained and evaluated on the same dataset. The right table presents results of zero shot settings performance where model were trained on a one dataset and tested on another dataset called target set. Let's discuss the left table. You can see that multilingual bird outperform baselines like LSTM CRF with domain specific word embeddings. As shown in the right table you can see that models with only one shift between two datasets achieve better results than model with two shifts. For example, if model trained on clinical data in English and tested on social media data in English, it has achieved 77% of F1 score, while the in-corpus performance is 84. When we experiment with future searching, for those experiments we first train every model on each dataset except the target set. Second, we begin with sampling 50 sentences from the target set, train the pre-trained model on this sum sample, and test it on the target dataset. Next, we increase the number of samples by 50 sentences of the target set, repeat the described procedure, and repeat this experiment up to 2000 sentences. This, this slide presents the results. You can see that even if the, we have two shifts between datasets for future learning, the results are higher than for model which doesn't have pre-training on another named entity recognition corpus before the target set. For each pre-training setup, we record the size of the sample needed to achieve 99% of the full dataset performance with multilingual bird. As expected, model with pre-trained on data in the same language or at the same, in the same domain obtain better results in zero shot and few shot settings. But to our surprise, we found that pre-training on data with two shifts can be helpful. The first half of the, this table show results for drugs named entity recognition, the second half of this table showed results for disease named entity recognition and you can see that we need a lower number of sentences for model with pre-trained on named entity recognition with another dataset with one or two shifts. We outline possible direction for future work. First direction is to explore transfer learning and multilingual strategies on three or more domains. We can include biomedical text for English and explore more strategies. 
The second direction is evaluation of multilingual bird on a broader set of entities like adverse drug reactions. And another direction is a pre-train of domain-specific bird on user-generated text like user reviews about drugs and healthcare system with custom vocabulary based on those trained data. Thank you for your attention. Drop us a line if you have any questions. Have a good day.